Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Ludum Dare. Ludum Dare is a huge game jam competition that has two parts. What has just ended was the compo, which is a little different. Um, basically, you had to be solo and release source, and it's just a bit harder. It's less time. It's only 48 hours. There's also still the jam that's going on, and that's um, you can have teams a bit more relaxed, and you also get 72 hours. This time's theme was Connected Worlds. I'm not going to be playing all of the games because submissions has only been open for 20 minutes, and there's over 1,300 games. So if you'd like me to play your game, then you can check the description. The first link after the list of all the games is going to be a link to a submission sheet that you can put your game into and then I'll play it um but other than that if you want to check out any of the games there'll be links in the description I'll be playing each game for a minute if you want to stalk me on twitter twitch tv or player.me links are also in the description and thank you very much for watching next next we're playing the game switch so we can use ws move and then spacebar to switch dimensions all right so I guess I can't be there Hmm. Wait a second. There we go. This is really neat. Alrighty. Jeez. Okay, in the other dimension is just the other key. I don't know how this thing moved. Okay. Where's the key? Ah, oh, there's more. go through here. No. Nope. Next. Next we're playing the game Red Thread. An ancient Chinese proverb says that the invisible red thread connects those designed to stay together. The thread can be tightened or tangled but will never be broken. Lovers, hearts, two worlds connected by a strong link. But in real life if this link is put to the test it can break. Don't let distance or adverse circumstances even a lava lake dissolve this link. Keep it alive. Is that what I'm doing? Just having them come together? Alright. I like how the world sort of turns a bit. I'm pretty sure I just jumped on her head. These graphics are really nice. This game's really nice. I'm pretty sure I just killed my girlfriend. <laughs> Next. Next, we're playing the game of the guy who lost his arms. Hey, let me tell you the story of the guy who lost his arms. On a Saturday afternoon, a guy created a hole in space time or something like that. I don't know how, but nothing got carried away. But somehow he tore the universe, separating it in two connected parts. Half of the universe went to one of these parts, and the rest went in the other part. Unluckily, the arms of this guy were separated from his body. He managed to find a mean to pass from one part to the other, and then started in his quest to find his missing arms. Hey, look, there's just money in this universe. Oh shit. So we gotta switch between worlds. So I was afraid of the fire, goddamn. 
Right. Oh, oh, next. Next, we're playing the game Connection Chase. Let's do player versus AI. Alright. What's he doing? I'm just selecting where they're going next. Can I get over here? Hey, he can connect to mine. Let's connect it. This is kind of a cool game. I can see this being fun to play with like two players since we can skip over each other's shit. That was a big jump. How come he can make such big jumps? Next. Next, we're playing the game Cat Planet. Just an ordinary day in Cat Planet when Marillion went to sleep, but woke, she woke up and there was a strange bridge. Midrin had to find out what it was. This is cute as fuck. Hello, I'm Mil Marlin. I don't know. I should really go across the bridge. Uh, I should click on the security guard and ask him if I can go across the bridge. Hello. I clicked on him. And Bagsy, the security guard. So you want to go to the human world, huh? Yes, I do. I'm so curious as to what is there. Okay, but you first have to look like a human. I'll give you a disguise. Cool, I really want to go there. Hang on there. Before I let you go over there, you need to walk on your hind legs, talk, and read. But how do I do that? Here's a walking training sign. Of course, you can click on it and then train how to walk. Cool, but I'll go do that now. Blah, 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 blah. Left and right arrows. Trying to fall over. Which one increases as you walk, which goes higher. This will not get higher if you're not turning. Come back to me when you have trained ones. Okay. Well, I'm proven enough at walking, you'll learn how to read. Fuck. That's kind of interesting. Oops. Next. <laughs> Next, we're playing the game Bacon Installer. Oh, I didn't actually read how to play. Ooh. I don't think I'm supposed to kill the piggies. Ooh, two hits. Maybe am I supposed to pick up the piggies? Hmm, let me read. So I have to return the pigs to the ship crates. Fuck, and not do that probably. Or that. No, I'm not doing a very good job, am I? Mm, oh. Fuck. Not very good at this, save one out of 40. Oh, next. Next we're playing <coughs> multi-worlds. All right, seen a few of these kinds of games. 
Oh, I didn't know I had to not fall. It's like glide, like nobody's business. It didn't let me jump all the way across. We'll stand on buttons to get to the next level. Okay. All right, team. Get at this. Oh, don't get at this. All right. Oh, this is a cool game. Next. Next, we're playing the game Travel Escape. Um, there are nine people in Travel, you have 50 gold. You and nine other people from your tribe have traveled to Mexico. When you learn from, uh, that a European invasion has started, you receive this map, but that's a minimum amount of days till Europeans will reach the town. You are in town marked red, click on it and stay there for one day, click the neighboring town to travel to it. Out of you, 50 gold, you enter the captured town, town has zero number on it, you have to give one gold for each person to enter to get away free. If you do not have enough gold, some people from your group will be lost hostage. Traveling between two connected town takes one day, if you choose to stay in town, you might find local people and join your group and get some gold from them. The bottom of the map is a jungle, which is the only safe place to hide, luckily your tribe lives there, your goal is to get home safely. Okay, so... Alright, so I guess some people have been added to my group. Stay in town for a day. Two more people joined. Alright. You want to tell my red, blah, blah. Enter a town. Gave them 31 gold. Didn't have any food, so you had to go to town. Even if you were captured, alas, it was. Give the European some more gold. 14 gold. Tell him nine left. Eight people traveling with you. Five people had to leave. Shit. You didn't have the gold to pay for yourself. Game over. Next. Next, we're playing the game Kate. Loud truck goes by my house. Okay. Whoop. We seem to be in some sort of maze. I go in the next slot. And then maybe this way. Hmm. Alright, go left or right? Let's go right. A little particle effects happening. There's too many options in this maze. My mouse went sensitive. I feel like I just went in a circle. Hmm, fuck. Yeah, I'm totally going in circles. Hey, look, a waterfall. Okay, next. Next we're playing the game Disconnect the Worlds. What are you waiting for? Click action to stop playing. Oh, I can fire arrows. Now I have it. Ooh, I can walk across water right there. Only right there. I can't walk across the river. Just like right here. Arrows are fun. Sand. Oh. There's a red thing. Boop. Hmm. Now we got apple trees. Lots of apple trees. Hey, look, another one. Hmm. Oh shit. Alright, I'm guessing these are the two different worlds. Uh, next. <laughs> 